Oh, hey, it's Rob, and I'm out in the backyard today because it's a relatively nice day. Still a little on the warm side, but not too bad. And I've got some things that I wanted to try and fix. So uh, I figured before it gets too dark tonight, I'm going to try and do a couple things, or at least one, and see if I can make some heads or tails out of this thing that I've found with an old pressure washer that I brought up to my mom's. So this is the old pressure washer. This was the second pressure washer I ever owned. Uh, that's the first one back there. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can get it to do some other things. But this one is the one that I brought up to mom's. And while I was using it, it started randomly cycling on and off. Uh, it was sort of like the pressure switch was not sitting in the right place anymore. It wasn't wasn't working, wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. And, uh, of course, you know, rather than be like, you know, every other normal thing in existence, this one has Torx fasteners to take it apart. So I'm going to try and find some Torx bits and get to it. I hope you can pardon me. I'm trying a different microphone this time. I've got a wireless mic that um, I want to see if it will work. Uh, I don't like the sound as well as I like the the uh, uh, camera mounted mic, but this also has the nice feature of being wireless, so I don't have to worry about sound pickup all the time. And of course, those are well, that one's okay. Okay, got those three. These three are, of course, way too deep for uh, for this. Piper, hush, hush your butt. Avoid the warranty. There we go. Let me see some got some fuzzies in there. All right. Keep these screws around just in case I do want to put it back together, which I'm guessing is about a 50-50 chance right now. And now we have a nice sealed unit that we got to try and figure out how to take apart. I think with those screws up, this should just, yeah, pry apart. I think it's definitely uh, well put together. There we go. Ooh. So this is interesting. Okay, this is a little different than the other one. Uh, let's see if I can get it in here. So we have the motor. I don't know how powerful that is, but it's got some pretty beefy coils on it. The uh, Brushes still look pretty good, commutator. Um, but there's a pressure switch in here somewhere. And it would be good to find. Well, this is interesting. I have plugged it in and turned it on. And I've got no juice. So I don't know if this is, if it popped the GFCI or if it is tacked inside of there. All right, let's go. I'm going to go check that out. OK, now what I suspect is that uh, right now it's in the off position. And if I, uh, if I do a, a resistance check across the windings here, it's still, it, should show, it should show some small resistance. Yeah, 2.6 ohms, that's uh, small resistance. That seems reasonable. So what we're going to do is pop over here to the AC voltage and turn it on. And being careful to denote that this is live, going to check and see. That yeah, looks like a big fat zero to me. Yeah, if you can see it on the meter there. 
So chances are good that it's an electrical problem in this switch. Well, that kind of fits along with what it was doing up at Mom's. It was kind of cycling on and off with the various, with the pressure. So, yeah, I guess it's time to dig into the switch. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how to take this apart yet, but I'll pull off this side plastic. Chances are looking good that this is not going to uh, not going to go back together again, but we shall see. You know, I'm wondering if this if this front piece has to come off. I really don't want to do that because I believe that is pressure fitting. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, it's going to take me a little bit to figure this out, so uh, while I do that, you guys go have coffee or something. Woo! Okay. Yes, indeed. It's the whole pump apart. Yep. Oil and all. Okay. That's kind of interesting. It's got these uh, three plungers that go uh, that go up and down. So this is like a, a little three-phase pump. It's basically a hydraulic pump. You can see there's these um, pistons that go in and out, and they actually force the water through these little valves. And these are one-way valves, and so these create quite a bit of pressure going into this small little space, and that drives it out the uh, pressure end. We have a feeling this is not going back together, but we shall see. It's cool design. And here's the bit we're looking at, and this looks like it's intended to be a single unit. This is all supposed to be in one piece. Oh, this is interesting. This is just a rocker switch in here. <laughs> this little thing is a cam a cam that operates this lever that turns the switch. Eh, marvelous. Okay, just for the heck of it, I'm going to plug this back in and try it running it raw without the pump on the end. Uh, so yeah, I uh, didn't realize that it was on <laughs> in this position, and I plugged it in, and sure enough, it ran uh, with no load and knocked over and spilled all the oil. But it seems like what is quite the uh, the thing is that this came out of position, so. How do we put this back in? Well, all right, we do this for certain.
put this little o-ring back in the groove Back in its little groove here. That is the off position. That is the on position. All right, that looks like it might actually be working, so let's try and put this back sort of together-ish. should do is I should get some oil and add it to the pump again as I have you know displaced a certain amount of oil in the process um, so I think I will try and do that I should have some somewhere if not there's a Napa just down the street so yeehaw right, I added some good old 10w40 that I had sitting on the shelf from I don't know how long ago uh, no, this is not a precision piece of equipment, and I'm pretty sure that 10W40 will work fine in here. Uh, let me put in a little bit more, because I have it, and it's not going to go anywhere. Once this is sealed back up. And put the O-ring back. I don't have any uh, schmoo for the sides, but I think that will be okay. Again, this is, you know, this thing is already junked, so now figure out which way to put it back on. Um, ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. There we go. Goes on like so. We gotta put the switch back in, don't we? Yeah, I forgot that part. Oh, here's another thing. There's a uh, little pressure relief thingy here. Make sure that's in. So I'm going to guess that this is, uh, as it overpressures, this probably pushes against the switch. Now it might actually be in this which would be, and you can feel that is a little stiff. But I guess we'll try it. Might just be in that. If it is, then uh, perhaps we can find something else to uh, do that job for it, or just basically muff the whole thing. Okay, switch. No, 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 no. Yeah. And of course, these are completely torqued to spec.
So now we put it in the off position. Mm, doesn't seem to be leaking much oil. Uh, let us Okay, quick blip. That is working. Okay, I guess uh, put it back together and see if it uh, actually works as intended. And now that I have it all back together, guess what I found? Son of a... Okay, I've got water hooked up, power is on. Let's uh, fire it up and see what happens. Okay, that's promising. That, however, is not. Yeah, it's that uh, pressure mechanism that's in there. It's getting stuck. All right. Well, um, probably not going to try and replace that. I might be able to get a motorcycle to drive by. Um, might be able to just wire up another switch in here and just use it. Probably not for pressure washing anymore, but I might be able to use it for some other high pressure uh, experiments because um, that pressure doohickey is uh, not, not working very well. And I don't really feel like taking the mechanism apart and trying to fix it because it's plastic and old and dead. So, well, at least now I know it's recoverable, not reusable as a pressure washer without some uh, different things going on. But that's okay. I have other pressure washers, and I'll live. And of course, just as I said that, it's split open <laughs> down here. So I think it's pretty much toast at this point. All right. Well, this was fun and interesting. I learned something new about how a pressure pump, uh, a pressure washer pump works. It's pretty much like a hydraulic pump. Um, Yes, I mean, what do they call it, a swale pump? I don't remember. Anyway, so uh, pressure washer fix fail, but uh, good learning experience, and Sissy is over here happy uh, chasing after the water. So, all right, until next time, we'll see what else I can break.